Hello, welcome back, Fox 64 Bolt here. Today I bring you another YouTube video. Today we are playing Scrap Mechanic Survival. Yay, it's released. Oh, I need to change some controls a second. So, this is going to be a survival playthrough and tutorial. Because there'll be a lot of you out there wondering how to play the game. I've put together a few things to do. So, first of all, you need food, right? Now, food takes a while to grow. Not that long, but a while. So, what you want to come over here, what you want to do is come over here and plant some food. one of the first things you want to do. So you want to collect the seeds, collect the fertilizer, collect the soil. Now there's already soil down. So if you can, you don't want to plant any more soil. You want to save all your soil because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight patches here. Now tomatoes are the best for food. Three, four. So we're going to for um, water and then carrots are the best for food so we're going to plant them and then you can just throw it and water one one by one or you could do that or multiple and we'll go only when they're right next to each other though just ignore the like the weird key mappings it keeps all the key mappings from the previous version luckily and also all your worlds so then what you want to do is fertilise them all, otherwise it takes too long to grow. But as long as there's not as long as there's less than nine, you're all fine. Okay, then what you want to do is take any useful resources you can find. So like this shack here is made of wood. You want to take the wood. Don't really bother taking any of the um panels or stuff, they take up an entire inventory space. Quite useless. They're not useless when you're like protecting when you have to protect your farm, but they're useless when you're trying when you're starting out without anything to put anywhere to put your inventory. Take the lights as well. Lights are very useful that it gets very dark. Okay, so now that these are all grown, make sure you have you've got full buckets. And then you go back, then you want to go back to the spaceship. You can put out the fires inside using the water buckets. Let me just organise my inventory a little bit. There we go. What's that? That's the light. You can also move about whilst you're in your inventory. Okay, so what you want to do first is... Well, there's not really much you want to do. First, there's a few things in here. There are beds. If you sleep in the bed, then you get... That's your respawn spot. There's nothing here. Not really anything over there. This is the main area. It's where the craft bot are is and also where the um, battery is. So so take all the like the good resources, anything that stacks. So this cardboard here, there's a duck, take the duck if you want. I just I'll just leave the rest of that. Okay, then what you want to do is go back, fill up your buckets. You want to make sure you always have full water buckets on you. Because water buckets you can use to freeze the hay bots in place. Then, what's that? A bot, A bot, oh, that made me jump. Oh, it always makes me jump. Oh, that made me jump. I don't know why it made me jump, it made me jump. Sorry about that. Okay, now what you want to do, go along here to that place, that's where the battery is. Make sure you pick up everything along the way, all these crates. These crates contain very useful stuff, 
especially in the early game. Okay, look, look here. Here we can freeze it. it only freezes for a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, why is it? Why are there so many? There are much more here, and it's, it, oh, it makes me jump so much. It makes me jump so much. Okay, now we've got some scrap metal. Oh, it made me jump. This is the reason why I hate survival games. Because it makes me jump. I don't know how other YouTubers can deal with it. This isn't just a tutorial walkthrough, this is also a playthrough, but also a tutorial playthrough. So I like to tell you what like tips and tricks or staying through it myself. Okay, so you want to go up here. The starting area is the same for everyone. I don't know if it, further out it, get, it is different, but I think it is. Okay, make sure nothing jumps you. There will be lots of a hay bots and tote bots soon. Luckily, no farm bots. Farm bots are the big red ones, the bosses. They you you should not deal with them. Okay, look. These ones are immune to the water, but they also do less damage. Don't bother picking anything up until you've got rid of all the uh, farm, all the bots. Um, I forgot what they're called. Okay, there's nothing out here. Okay. This first bit, I'm not gonna like skip any of it or speed up, just so you can see like exactly what to do. So this entire starting area is the same, except for these. These spawn uh, randomly or naturally or whatever. So yeah, these little the crates are are random. Okay, how do you? There we go. Shift, shift, left click to. Uh, once for the entire item. This is the battery, you can just hold right click or left click or whatever you have your delete option mapped to. Okay, also this fire does hurt you so don't go into it. Like that was just to show you guys that it does hurt. Okay, and then it'll be also like, you can also pick those up with use item, whatever you have used item mapped to. And I fall fell. There is full damage in this game, and I'm burning. So watch out. You might get burnt. Let me just check that everything is recording. Yes, it is. But sometimes it doesn't record for some reason. I don't think there's any robots here. Nope, we're good. It wants a little tip. Make sure you get as much done in the day as you can, and then in the night time, just wait it out. You can't skip the night. There's, you can't really see anything at all in the night time, so I just go back to the spaceship and wait it out. Personally, you might be able, you might have a few lights, but most lights aren't that good. Also make sure you always plant less than nine seeds. Okay, now we can't get up any further. We might be able to get up oops, with a toilet sign or a seat, but we don't have one. And we won't have one till much later in the game. But we do have, where is it? Uh, let me put everything up. Everything I don't need goes up there. Oops. This. Make sure to have a sorted inventory, it's very useful. There we go. I get rid of them. I get rid of those to be honest. So yeah, make sure your inventory is always sorted, or at least your hotbar is very useful. There is no like gradual fade to night really. So once it gets to night time it'll just very quickly fade to night time. So there's no like pre warning. What's that? Uh, yeah, you always need to watch your back. 
make sure there's no bots coming up on you. Especially around the spawn area. now. Are they grown? No, they're not grown yet, I don't think. Okay, but now we can put the master battery in and now we can use this. We can make an engine. It crafts it one at a time and then we need a driver's seat. Let's just check. We've got that, we've got that, we've got one, two, three wheels. That's fine for now. Okay, we need one more wheel and four more bearings for a basic vehicle. Okay, we need to get some more wood. Yeah, we need more wood. Okay, so to get wood, what time is it? Where is the sun? Those trees don't give you wood, they give you ember. Um, I don't really like to go too far off the path because of the hay bots and stuff. Let's get one very close to them. You can destroy these stumps as well. They don't give you anything though. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. It goes into the forest. I don't like going in. So you just hit it. What was that? What was that? See, I'm very paranoid in all survival games. Okay. I'm just moving these away so that I'm in an open area when I refine it. So if any bots try to come sneak up on me, they cannot. I thought that was a bot in there then, but it's just a burnt bush. Oh, I'm so paranoid in all of the survival games. Okay, I'll just re refine these quickly, quickly and then come back to you. Little tip, zoom out when finding stuff, so if one tries to sneak up behind you, you can see it. You won't have much time to react, but you'll have some time to react. It's better than none. And to make sure to Look around every now and then, just to make sure there is nothing sneaking up on you, because you don't want that to happen. Look, there's a robot going to attack our plants quick, we need to destroy it. That's just a wild robot, but it will destroy all of our plants. Or not. Okay, it's getting to night as well, we need to move. Uh, okay, these have all grown. Yeah, it does. They destroyed a few of the plants. Quick, it's night time. We need to move quick, quick, quick. I don't like the dark. Get back to safety. Pick it up. It's slower when carrying it, but we can still move. I shall put this in the doorway. So we know if there are robots. Okay, so now we get our engine. That only takes 15 seconds. Okay. We need more metal, so we need to fight more bots. Oh no. I don't like fighting robots. Actually, no, we can make a trike which takes four bearings. We'll make a trike. It won't be as stable. Actually, no, we'll make the basic forward, a basic forward vehicle. Yeah, we need a lot more metal. this guy. I don't like you. You make too much noise. Okay, I'm just going to sort out... Oh, it's just that. See what I mean? I'm so paranoid in this game. Everything makes me jump. Mm. 
most of the stuff in here it, you can pick up, but you can't really place it back down. Just a pre warning. Um, I'm just going to sort out my inventory, wait until it's day, and then see you back. There's no real easy way to see if it's day apart from to look out there. So, yeah, see you back in a bit. Okay, so. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm pretty paranoid in this game. That's just the electrical. I hate games that in survival. But I don't hate them. Oh, there we go, I can actually... See, I didn't like the weird shadows. What am I that way? Okay. I'm just setting up a few defense lights so that we can see. There is a locker here. It's not that many items, but I will build the base of my car out of that. Oh yeah, so what I was going to say is that down here in the bottom left, you have food, hunger and drink. Now, these give a lot of both. Tomatoes are better for, thir for thirst. You want to save these until you're like really low, but I will just drink one now to show you. See, it gives a lot, mainly... Actually, yeah, main, more hunger than thirst. And then I will show you other stuff later. Okay, I'm just going to continue waiting and freaking out every time I hear just like a random noise. Bye. Okay, outside is a cow or a wok. I am not rescuing it. They attract bad things. It might get killed by a farming ball in a minute. That's why I'm keeping this one bucket of water. Actually, better than this is the lift. They cannot oops, break the lift. It's a very bad placement. I'll put it right there. So now we are almost completely safe in here. They can run up, run up, but they can't, it's, it's, they can't get the, uh, they can't break the lift. Then we can just hit them through the gap, hit, hit, move back, hit, move back, like that. Okay, uh, can we craft anything? Okay, so we need one more wheel, that's five. Five. 10, 15, 15, 25, 35 metal, 35, oh, and you can't take this battery once you've put it in, so you can't, like, take it with you to the next areas. This entire place sounds like metal, no matter where you hit it. This is glass, though, not metal. Oops. I... But it's starting to become daytime again. But I'm pretty sure that's a good idea, gasoline and a fire. Oh, and the toilet. So I will. Oh, wait, we can't grab. No, we can't grab the toilet. There are some shakes in here, I did not realise that. My first time round. Okay, look, it's now daytime. We need more metal, so we need to attack K-Bots. Or rather, they'll attack us. Okay. This area is useless. You can't use this thing, I don't think. You might be able to fix it. Like, maybe this is like for the future when you have to fly out of here. You have to... Yeah. Okay, let's pick up our lights. 
them up there. And let's go. Quick check around. Check over there. No farm bots. You really should plant more food, but I can't be bothered. You can't kill these things, I don't think. Uh -huh. You might be able to, actually. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they should have respawned. Oh, I hate this. Am I recording? Yeah, I think I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, I heard something. Best place to go? Out into the forest if you're brave enough. But if you're like me and completely petrified of anything that you see moving, then best place to go. Open places. I don't think they would have respawned here actually. Are there any in there? No. Oh, you can't zoom in this game. I want there to be a mod like Minecraft Optifine so you can zoom in. You can do it with the spud gun, but we won't have the spud gun for a very long time. Um, okay. You won't really take uh, full damage from low heights. Well, you won't take any from low heights. Okay, there's going to be lots here. I should have refilled the buckets. I'm going to go back and refill the buckets. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm getting to low thirst now. So I am going to eat a tomato. Look, it's mainly water, like in real life. There are signs for opening your GUI, or GUI as some people call it. Let's go for a swim. Look, you can swim, nice little swim. Okay, is this what you want? So what you want to do is just this. I would run through there. There, but do you know what? Let's risk it. Ha! Risky business. Can you break these? I don't think you can. They're like they're just terrain assets. A lot of this is actually. The main thing I'm annoyed about is creative. Like it doesn't have like all the stuff you build you can build in survival, like the vacuum tubes and stuff. I don't know if that is in this for this release version of survival though. Ah. Okay, let you see all of them. We don't want to fight all of them at once. We want to pick them off. So where's the close closest ones? Okay. Just wait for them to see us. Just one. Watch your back. Look, there we go. There we go. This one is attacking us. They only they're only down for a short amount of time. So make sure to get them in that short amount of time. Where's the there it is. Has that one over there seen us? Okay, I think we'll go for this one on the left now. Okay, this one's seen us. Oh, there's multiple. There's a lot over here. Oh, they've both seen us. Run. Okay. So, water. Ah. Nope. Nope. That other one won't stay down for long. You c I don't know if you can dodge their attacks. Um, how many metal do we need? 35? 45? Um, let's go for 40. 45. Let's get 45. Let's get 50. We'll get 50. We'll get 50. Just be safe. Um, oh, this is scary. Okay, now we're out of water. But there's only one more that I can see. And I'll show you how to fight them without water. So, you want to go up. Jump, hit. They are faster than you walking backwards. But it, and I'm frozen. Okay, this is bad. Um, because, oh, there's time on the top left. 
Okay, this is bad because I'm frozen. One could sneak up on me and attack me. Um, okay. There we go. I can't hear any. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. So yeah, you can sprint faster than them, but walking backwards, you're slower. Um, we got 40 metal. One more. There we go. There's one over here. Attacking the walk. No, Mr. Walk. It takes five hits to destroy these and three to destroy the green ones. And like a couple hundred to destroy the massive ones. Is there no... Oh, I thought that was something over there then. Okay, let me eat. You okay? Oh, look, it's dead. Confetti. That's what happens if you kill them in real life. Get confetti. There it is. Okay, stand back. Make sure there's nothing around us. Um, should we explore this place? I don't want to, but in the spirit of gaming or whatever, let's do it. We will lose everything. Luckily, items don't delete. They drop in a bag. Okay, let's get these into the corner so we can see if anything's attacking us. Apart from our right. We can't see from our right. Our right is not covered. Uh, that's probably the safest angle. I didn't customize the character to I just left it as standard as well. Nothing in there. Okay, we've got 70 blocks. Um, let's continue up. Make sure to check um, around you at all times. Check everywhere. Check all your angles. So yeah, this one, you get up. Over here, you can jump onto this. Or jump, crouch jump. And then you crouch jump up there. And jump up there. Just like that. Then you want to go up, I believe. Again... Maybe not. Um, I forgot I had to get up there now. I don't actually remember. If you go up here, then like up there. I don't know. Okay. What we'll just do is jump on our lift. You can fall off sometimes, but most times you're safe. Oh, this literally goes down to the ground there. Okay, so from here, you can jump there, make that jump and miss it. Okay. What we'll do, okay, so what you want to do is jump and not mess it up like that. Okay, I'm going to come back when I get it. Or I'll maybe like, work out a cheaty way to get up there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to place down your lift. Go up, and then jump. Okay, clear out the floors first. Okay, no farm bots. They do respawn after like night or if you're far away. Um, how long do we have? How long do we have? Okay, every minute in this game is... Every minute in real life is one hour in this game. Oops, don't destroy those. They're valuable. Collect all the oil you can. Okay, that's gone down there. I thought I was a robot then. Okay, there's lots of scrap metal up here. Okay, so you need to collect every bit of oil, gasoline you can. Uh, you want to stock up on resources in the early game. Anything that is useful, collect. Anything that isn't, like the shack roofs or whatever, leave. Anything that is used for crafting or is consumable, collect. Everything else, just leave it. Unless you really, really want it, just leave it. I don't know what time it gets dark. Ah. 
that on the top it says it's like 60, 30, which is 4.30 in the afternoon. I reckon around like 6, 7 it gets dark on air or 8. So yeah, now we have enough metal to make a seat, to make two more bearings, and to make... Oh look, we don't even need one more wheel now. We need two bearings and a seat. And then we'll be done. I'll eat this carrot, because then I'll have enough room in my inventory. Inventory management, remember? It's the key to this game. Or at least the early part of this game. Okay, so two bearings. Craft whatever takes the shortest amount of time first. I'd say it. that's my opinion at least. Oh, and we need to make one of these, which takes 35. That takes 35. Okay, I'll come back to you once I have anything and show you a good basic vehicle to make. Okay, before it gets dark, we will quickly fill up the buckets. Just quickly. Before it gets dark, fill up all buckets, then return back. We, we will wait until morning to set off in our vehicle. Well, we'll wait till morning to build our vehicle as well. Okay, so lift and door trick. Put it up. Because it's about to be night. Let's check exactly when it goes night. It is 1920-ish. That's what it says in the top left, not like the year or anything. We can fit through this gap if we crouch. Because for some reason we're thinner when we crouch. Not just shorter. Okay, it is going dark at 20. So that's about 8. So when it hits 20, it starts to get dark. There we go. Okay, let's set up the safety lights. Safety light, actually, let's put that back here a bit more. There we go. And then our other safety light in here there we go we've got our safety lights can't see over there um let's put out all this water but yeah look you can't use this i'm spamming our you can't use that thing so we can actually build our vehicle in here because you can take it outside using the lift afterwards. So what you want to do is take the locker. Now you won't be able to just place it as it is. So you want to take your wood. Place it down like that. Then just place it like that. You want to make it so the back is down. Then we can get rid of that. Wait, no, we want to make it so the back is up. Like this. There we go. So now what you can do is you can place you see on it, it is an odd width for the locker but just deal with it and now what you want to do is place a little platform put your engine on top and put a little ring all the way around and then just two blocks like that don't need to block up the back. Okay, so now we go. We can. We don't. We um can do that. 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 Wait, no. It's wrong. Um. Bit of the back is correct. Where's our lift? Oh, we have. Our, we're using our lift. Okay, that's one problem. 
um, we want to do that, then that, then we're out of stuff, so I'll just take one of these blocks and do that, then that, then that. Let's make it, no, we don't have enough bearings for four wheel steering. Um, I'll have to use metal to put these on. I love that bearing attachment animation effect. Look at that. Okay. Now I'll put the lift back in the door. Just to be safe. No farm box to get any air. It's another walk. Do they just spawn at night? Okay, we can't use our lift now. So now what we do, connect to there, connect to there, connect to there, check steering, it's backwards, flip both of those. Both those. Now, the engine can only connect to two, so do we want rear wheel drive or front wheel drive? I would recommend rear wheel drive. Put it one from the top, and then fuel it up, actually no, don't fuel it up yet because sometimes it can use fuel when it just sits there. I don't know what caused it to do that or when it happens, but sometimes it does just happen. Okay. Also, these can only be placed on dirt or you it just forces them to place like that. If you try to place them on dirt, it does that or you can do that. Like you see, it says put soil here. It's just that. Put soil build it normally. Can't put it down there because we're in the way. Okay. But yeah, I don't like going that excitedly. So now we have our vehicle. We're getting thirsty again, so we're gonna drink eat oh, I said drink. Another tomato. There we go. Tomato eaten. Um, right, so we've gone outside, we are in the abyss, you cannot see anything at JK, we're just crouching into the dark abyss wall, that's what this thing should be known as, now, the abyss wall, because you cannot see anything, you know what, let's just sleep in the bed whilst waiting. Also, little tip, well not really tip, but a hint, or just a quick thing. Time still goes by in this menu. There is no way to pause the game from a menu. Let's listen to some music. Okay, it is now light out like four. It's very early. Any bots? No bots. Okay. Let's do this. Add fuel and get in our very, very early vehicle. Look how good this is. Look how brilliant this is. Look how fabulous and wonderful this vehicle is. It's such a smooth ride such great steering as well just marvellous one thing I didn't do is give it a wide wheelbase, you want it to have quite a wide wheelbase and if you can having um, what's it called four wheel steering helps quite a bit I would say but we can afford that okay let's turn this engine up one more up to max okay this isn't that good um, I heard a farm bot or at least I thought I heard a farm bot There 
go. Front wheel drive. Because neither ones that are turning are spinning and will always be spinning. Okay. So I let me remember where we have to go. Uh, we want to get onto a road. So here's a road. And I think we want to go to the right. I don't know, there's a farm, but often, the, yeah, the path doesn't go to the left. So we want to go up here to the right. Look at that farm bot. Evil farm bot. Are we recording? Yeah. Will we make it up this hill? We might not even make it up this hill. Oh, where do we want to go here? Left or right? I believe left. Oh wait, no, this isn't a turning, that's why. Look, there's a crate here, Let's jump out, get the crate. Look, look how much this is already used. It's already used to fuel. It could be inefficient, but it's fun. Walking's probably faster, you say? I don't care. This is a fun vehicle. I thought that was a farm bot, like the boss farm bot then, but it's just a tree. Okay, so I'll just time lapse this. This. Okay, uh, notes for future self editing this. Just speed this up from now. now here this is the place you want to get to watch out though there is a boss farm bot around here somewhere uh, it wanders about but it's generally over that way I can't swing my arm to show you there are also just a few robots around here anyway let's go in the right direction I do believe, is there one? No, there's none in here. Okay, let's just park in here. So, this place requires a battery, a master battery. You might be thinking, oh, we need to bring it with us. But no, as I said earlier, you cannot bring it with you. <laughs> that area's dug out because one of the YouTubers was that got early access down there. So, this one has nothing in. This one also has nothing in. This is where we'll make, we'll make, oops, that made me jump. This is where we'll make our little base. This one, however, does have something in. And this respawns. So do not build your base in here. If, if we can open the door. Three, four, five. Do not build your base in here, because this thing respawns after a day or whatever, but it does respawn eventually. As long as you have the door closed though, you will be fine. We will sleep in the bed. But yeah, there is literally nothing you can take in here. There is nothing whatsoever. Okay, so now, just let it close. Uh, 15 minutes to record the rest of this. So, this is where you want to build your first starter base in this place. P probably in here. This is like one of the best places to do it. Don't forget to sleep. Just sleep and one resets once resets it. These are holes. I thought this there was like glass and stuff here. No, they're just that's just a hole. Okay, so now we've got the battery. Make sure there's nothing around. This area is pretty safe. But now, we can get in and put the battery in. And now, this is where you build the craft bot, find bot, cook bot, dress bot, and resource collector. We want to do this first. We need more metal, 
more of these, more of these. We need to kill robots. Oh, and you don't have to go back because there is a simple craft bot just of here. So that's all for today's tips and tricks video. Oh, what you might also want to do, place down everything that you're not like going to use. Just place it all down here on a wall, like this wall. Um, obviously keep your food on you. So yeah, you could also do this in the room over there, but um, I prefer to just place it all down in here because we'll mainly be in here for the next while. So yeah, just place everything down. Like that, this stuff you might want to keep on you. I'll get rid of the switch. Those we'll need. And then put that down there. Keep fuel on you and keep food on you. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Bye. Uh, actually no, before we do that, let's just quickly have a look for the evil farm bot boss. He's far off that way, but he does wander quite close, like up to that tree line sometimes. We're safe though for now. So yeah, did I, where's my lights? Where are the lights? Did I not pick up the lights? I forgot to pick up the lights. Wow. I'm not going to pick them up. But, yeah, bye.